We can define our routes using standard get, put, post, and delete verbs. Our first parameter sets the location of our route. Our second parameter is a function that accepts a request and response object. The request object represents incoming HTTP requests. The response object is something you give to the user, such as a web page, an image, or data like JSON or XML. In the example below, when a GET request is made to our root URL, we respond by rendering our index file located in our views folder. We're able to use the params method of the request object to retrieve available parameters from an HTTP request. In the example below, we pass the 99 parameter from the URL and use it to display in a string message. This time, we're using the send method to display a string and attaching it to the parameter's request object. Express4 brought us the router API. By using router, we're able to use the same get, put, post, and delete verbiage while being able to easily extract away the location of our routes. So, instead of defining app.use 100 times in the same app.js file for each route, we can declare it just once and point to the location of our route definition. This allows for clear handling of our API. Let's take a look at a typical setup so you can better understand the structure. App.js will start up our server and assign our routing. The views folder will house our J files, which will appear in our browser. And the API folder will contain an index and a controller to define each route. After declaring our app variables, we set our templating engine and the location of our Jade files. The next line will declare a backslash API as the new route and require in the index file located in our API folder. Do you see how it's doing that? You can tell it's requiring in a folder because of the dot and that it's requiring in the index file at the root of the folder. So it's requiring in the index.js from the API folder. In our index.js file, we bring in express so that we can create a router. And we're requiring in a controller to make for clear separation. So this file is setting its root URL which we've defined already as backslash API and passing in controller.main. The controller file exports a method that we use in our index file. Now this is simply shorthand. We don't have to do this. Just like how we could define all of this in our app.js file, but then we wouldn't have a modular app anymore. This res.render looks very familiar. It's saying render the index file, which we've defined in our views folder, and it's passing in an object with the key, title, and value of express. This will match what we find in our jade file here. And when we run the app and navigate to localhost 8080 slash API, we can see the result. As mentioned, using the controller is just shorthand. We could declare our route like this. This is the same as what we've already declared in the controller file, except we're changing express to my home page and we should see the difference. And we do.